Uh, hello everyone and welcome to Friday's edition of Reptile News. Now I want to bring up a little update possibly to a previous story that I'm starting to maybe have a change of feeling about and that is the man in North Carolina uh, that had the 60 venomous snakes in his house. It turns out 51 of them of the 60 were venomous snakes and I guess the museum that's taking care of them has started to get a count of them and they're saying there's 10 rattlesnakes, 3 species of cobra, 5 gila monsters and a gaboon viper they mentioned. Um, they mentioned the gen they mentioned, they mentioned uh, the gentleman Gentleman is not uh, a stranger to snake bites uh, because of photos that they saw from Facebook. Uh, I guess in '99 he's been by a copperhead. But anyway, that doesn't matter. Snake bites do not matter. Here's what I wonder: um, charges are still pending. The museum says that if charges are not filed against the gentleman, then they're required by law to return his animals. If charges are filed, then they will keep his animals. Now, here's what I wonder. Um, it's been long enough. It's a fairly cut and dry case. There was a law broken or there was not a law broken. If it is the law to have the information on the enclosures like we spoke about Wednesday and he did not have that information, then there was a law broken. Okay, if there was not a law broken, then, you know, if he was a law-abiding snake keeper, maybe, does he not deserve to get his snakes back immediately? Either press charges or give the snake back one or the other, and of course the police say they're doing some big in-depth investigation. No, 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 no. There was a law broken, there was not a law broken. That, that's, that's how I feel. I don't know. How do you feel? That's your question of the day. Leave a text comment or a video response below. And moving on to India, this is this was a cool story. It did involve reptiles, but it also involved felines. Apparently, there, uh, a crocodile attacked and killed a tiger. This is the first documented case of this happening. The tiger was found with missing genitals and a leg um, with numerous uh, crocodile teeth puncture wounds on it and a crocodile was spotted close by um, what they believe is guarding the uh, the meal. Um, anyway, yeah, not a big story, little story, uh, first documented case, it's another first for the reptile world, so that's always awesome, you know how I feel about first time things. And speaking of crocodiles, a man, an Ethiopian man traveling through China was caught with a crocodile in his luggage. Uh, in China, if you're moving animals to or from, you're required to have import-export certifications. The man could not provide paperwork, so the crocodile was confiscated, obviously. No word on whether any charges are going to be filed or if we're going to see one of these locked up abroad episodes of it, but uh, yeah, don't. I wouldn't even go to China, let alone uh, smuggle a crocodile through China. And I've saved the best story for last. It's another first. It's the, the most awesomest news this week. And it was made by herpetologist Leslie Anthony. Apparently, Leslie uh, found the first documented sharp tail snake on mainland British Columbia. Now Leslie was looking for other species with a friend and this was a, a complete accident that he came across the sharp tail snakes and I'll tell you what I love sharp tail snakes. I have them right here in my own backyard. They're all over this area. Um, I found them nearly impossible to keep. I've tried to keep a few before but they, they just don't like to eat. But some people do have, have great success at it but um, I don't. I like to uh, take them, photograph them, look at them, let them go back out in my backyard. Uh, I believe I have some pictures on Facebook of them as well. Um, you should check that out. Yeah. Um, Facebook.com slash Daily Reptile News. So anyway, that has been all your news for this Friday. Hey, if you haven't checked out the vlog yet, some people like to do that, then um, you should check that out. It's, the link's uh, right down below here in the description. And also, if you'd like to read any more of these stories, that link's right down below here in the description. And as always, if you're still watching, my name is Jason White. Now you know what's going on in the reptile world. Be good to each other. Have a good weekend, and we'll see you on Monday.